Hi and welcome to Velo GPS. In this video we're going to show you how to set up the data screens on your Garmin Edge 530. Ok, before we get going we need to quickly cover the buttons on the 530 as we'll be using them to set up the screens. First of all on the left hand side we have the up and down scroll buttons which are used to scroll between on screen options. At the top of the right hand side we then have the select or enter button with the back button located just below. The back button is used to return to the previous screen. Now we're clear how to use the buttons, it's time to move on to data screen setup. So to start off with we need to select menu using the down arrow and once we've selected menu we're going to scroll down to settings and use the enter key. We're then going to select activity profiles and we're going to scroll down and choose our road profile. Once we've selected the road profile we're just going to scroll down to data screens and select that. Now within data screens we can see that we have a variety of options so we have screen one, uh, we have map, elevation, group track, climb pro so a whole variety of screens and we'll come on to those in a later stage but we're just going to scroll down to screen number one and select that. So again looking at the options we're going to select layout and data fields and once we're in layout and data fields we can see here that we currently have five equally sized data fields but you can change that using the down uh, scroll arrow to as few as one large data fields, two, two, three, four, five, as many as ten data fields on the screen at any one time. Now we tend to find that that looks a little bit cluttered and for us the sweet spot is probably around about seven data fields. So here you can have uh, two smaller data fields with a large one below and then four smaller ones below that or option number two is three medium sized data fields with four smaller ones below that. So we like the one uh, 7B so we're going to select that and it now says select a field to swap or select it again to edit. So what we're going to do is we're going to push enter and you can see here that it's selected that data field. We've pushed enter again and it's now taken us into the data field categories. So you can see there's a selection of data fields. So popular, speed, um, I think we'll scroll down a little bit more, distance, timer, elevation, navigation, mountain bike performance, graphical, cadence, heart rate, power, gears, all sorts of um, interesting categories but we're going to scroll back and we're just going to put in a basic speed um, data field. So we select the speed category and you can see here we now have a number of data field options and we're going to put in average speed. So that's now appeared in the top left hand side field. So we're happy with that. Um, we're just going to now scroll across you can see we've now selected the large data field. We push enter to select it and we push enter again to go into the data field categories. So again we're going to pop into speed here and we're just going to put speed as the large data field in the middle there. So we're happy with the other data fields that we've got there. Uh, so if we scroll down and then we can select the and highlight the done option at the bottom. We hit enter and we can now see that we've updated to seven data fields. So we're now going to select back and we can see that we've filled out screen number one. So following on from that, uh, the next thing that we're going to have a look at is uh, adding a new data screen in. So there's a variety of data screens that you can add. So you can add in a compass, lap summary, virtual partner, cycling dynamics, workout, etc. But we're just going to add in a basic data screen. So again we select enter and then it gives us the option to select from our data field categories again. So I think on this occasion we're going to add in just a basic DI2 screen for those of us that have got fancy electronic gears. So we select the gears option and then within gears we have a number of data field categories that we can add in. So again we can scroll between these and we're just going to select gears, front gear, rear gear and gear battery uh, just for a, a basic screen here. So we scroll down again. Oh, and I've just spotted there that there is a specific field for DI2 battery level so we're going to go back up and take gear battery out. I suspect that's for those of you running SRAM uh, ETAP systems. So we're happy with those four data fields. Uh, we've hit the back arrow um, and we're going to scroll back to the done screen or rather the done option. Select that 
And we can see here, again, it brings up the layout of the data fields. So we've got a graphical representation of the gears at the top, a numeric and graphical representation of the front gear and rear gear below, and then the all-important DI2 battery field listed below. So um, just going back to look at that, um, again, you've got the option to have the two different layouts. So this one has two smaller fields and then two larger fields. Um, and we'll just show you as well that you can do... Um, once you're happy with that, the usual swapping of data fields or editing of data fields. So we didn't show you how to swap fields earlier, but if you select the field you want to swap, you select it, and then you select the field you want to swap it with, and it literally just changes those two over. So we're going to go back and show you that again. Select it, select the field you want to swap, and those two have swapped over. So again, we're going to scroll down to the highlight the done option, select enter, and we can see screen two here. Now, what we're gonna do now is choose where screen two appears in our running order of screens. You can see it's at the bottom. We've now selected up and it's moved up above Climb Pro. We've moved it up above Group Track and we've now moved it up to just below screen number one. So in the running order we had, that's where it will appear. We've hit enter and that's now selected that option. So scrolling down now, we're gonna select the map screen. If we select the map screen, we can hear, see here that we have an option to have the map um, always showing us on or only when you are navigating. So we have it always turned on, so it will always appear in our cycle of screens. You can then choose whether to have the elevation profile displayed. So if you hit enter, it toggles it on and off. And that includes a very small profile of the elevation on your map screen. So we then have data fields, and the option we've selected here is to have uh, or choose how many data fields we have displayed on the map screen. So you can have up to two data fields displayed, none, one, or two. So we, we've selected two data fields. We want to update those now. Um, so what we need to do is hit the back arrow, and we can now scroll down and choose the data field that we have displayed in each of those. So again, we choose the data field category. We're going to choose to just probably put a basic speed data field here. And then in data field number two, again, we enter that. We're going to scroll down, I think, to distance on this occasion. And we're going to put a basic distance data field in there. So once we're happy, we can again hit the back arrow. That's the map screen set up. And we're now going to choose the elevation screen. So again, just scrolling down, we've got show screen turned on, so it appears in the running order. We've got two data fields, and we're just going to set what those data fields are. Okay, so we've just selected a popular category. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to select elevation to go in that data field. And if we look at field number two, it already has grade included, so sensible for an elevation screen. Scrolling down, we have... Group track, which if you have uh, your phone paired and Garmin connects it up um, and paired with a number of friends, you can track your friends whilst out on a group ride. We'll scroll down again and we have Climb Pro, which pops up a screen showing you your position uh, relative to a particular climb that you're undertaking. And then we're back to the options at the top. Uh, so happy with that. We're just going to go back and we're going to show you what those screens look like in reality. So back at the main screen, we select Enter. And we can see our um, screen number one, basic data screen, with our seven data fields selected there. If we scroll down, we have our DI2 screen with our graphical representation of gears. We scroll down again. We have the map screen showing our speed and distance. Uh, and we have options for zooming in or out there. Uh, speed and distance data fields that we suggested. We scroll down again and we have our elevation screen which will show you a plot of elevation versus distance so you can track your progress uh, up any climbs and pace yourself, uh, particularly if um, the climb isn't big enough to register on Climb Pro. Um, and then scrolling down again, we go back to our main data page. So that in a few short minutes is how to set up the data screens on your Garmin Edge 530. All right, kick back, relax, and let's hit it again While you go tell your mother, father, cousin, the kid named your other friends That don't even have a clue what this doo doo crew is about to do You know it ain't fool's gold, this is crib tonight Super MCs freeze when I hit the mic, right? EFF is the AKA, I keep it popping like Bubble W-R-A-P And if you don't know by now, then listen up, stupid CSWS came to do it Got more flavor than you and your crew Kids, so get your hands together if you're ready to lose it And bounce to the bounce of the breakneck beat And like junior, seniors, it's a move you will see Cause we're about to do it, and you're about to do it Let's get down to the brass and beat And like junior, seniors, it's a move you will I bring the refreshments and stay fresh to death like I'm choking on a breath milk. I can fly I'm on six, seven, eight, cloud 